So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to minimize the frustration associated with one of my greatest pet peeves in PowerPoint, and that is the default formatting on shapes. So if you've used PowerPoint 2008 or 2011 on a Mac, you know that when you go to draw a shape, there is a default format for that shape. It comes with this set gradient, a set line, and a drop shadow on the shape. And that's all well and good if you're trying to make these shapes look really cool and neat. But most of the time, I just need a white shape with a black line for the border and no shadow. So I'm going to teach you how to set, in a specific PowerPoint presentation, a formatting for generic shapes to your choosing. So the first thing I'll do is draw a shape, as I've done here. I'll click Format in the ribbon. Again, you can also access this from clicking Format here in the PowerPoint menu but I prefer to use the ribbon. So I'll click Format, and now I get to choose how I want to format my shape. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose No Fill for the inside here. So I don't want anything inside of this. So I'll click this little arrow on my Fill bar and choose No Fill. So that removed the fill of my shape, but I still have the border and I still have the drop shadow. So I'm going to change the border by clicking on this little arrow here next to line and I'm going to choose a black line and finally I still have my shadow that I need to deal with so for shadows or any effects like that you simply come here and choose effects so shadow I'm going to come down here to no shadow and that now removes the shadow and I formatted this shape but the problem is if I go to draw another shape off of this one it comes back with those same formatting issues. So the problem here is I'm going to either have to copy and paste this shape everywhere I go in my presentation or I'm just going to have to reformat every shape I draw. So let me delete this and I'm going to show you now how to set this as our default format. So once you've formatted your shape the way that you want it to be, select the shape so that it's outlined as you see with the anchors on it, right click and choose set as default shape. Now when I come in to draw a shape, that shape has my formatting set to it. So if I come in here and draw a triangle, same thing. So I've now set the base level formatting on my shapes. And now please remember this only applies to the presentation I'm currently working in. If I get out of this presentation and I start a new one, it's going to go back to using the default setting for my shapes. So just be mindful of that. But that is how you make these alterations to your shapes. So that's all there is to it.